Now, if we try to just sub in x is 0, you'll end up with 0 minus 0 over 0. And that's no good. But in such a case, we can actually use something called um, L'Hopital's rule. Uh, no, that's not how you spell L'Hopital. Let me get my spelling correct. Yeah. L'Hopital's rule. Right, um, so this should equal, or you make it, you make it equivalent to saying it's the limit as x goes to zero of some function f of x over g of x, where f of zero is equal to g of zero, which is equal to zero. In that case, you can use L'Hopital's rule, which says it's equal to f derivative zero over g derivative zero, which would be one over cos squared x minus 1 over 3 x squared. And when you put in x is 0, it, it happens again. So when x is 0, this will equal 0 over 0. So we use it again. <sighs> OK. So that's um, bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. That's minus 2, minus 3. Multiply by the inside derivative sine x, and then that becomes 6x. And when you put in x is 0, once again, you get 0 over 0. So we have to use L'Hopital's rule again. So this is looking good because, um, well, at least that's going to be a six anyways at the bottom. Okay, product rule, bring down the power, reduce the power by one, and then multiply by the inside derivative, and there's already a sign there, and then, um, minus two cos x minus three sine x becomes cos x. Actually, I made a sign mistake, careless of me. Uh, the derivative of cos is minus sine. So that should have been a plus there. So that means that's a minus. And um, that's a plus then, yeah. If I put in zero, I should get one over three. Now, kind of a sneaky way I like to check this uh, on the calculator is just sub in a number very close to zero and just see if you get it roughly. So if I just type in tan of let's say 0 0.001, minus 0 0.001 over 0 0.001 cubed, I do get 0 0.33333. So yep, I'm happy that this is the limit here. But we had to use L'Hopital's rule um, three times, I think, here to get it to a situation where we didn't need the rule anymore.